What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. So, Detroit Tigers player Miguel Cabrera retires after today. This will be the final game of his storied 21 year major league career. He announced two years ago that he planned on retiring after the 2023 Major League Baseball season. He confirmed. Uh, those thoughts a year and a half ago. As a matter of fact, he even considered retiring after last year because of injuries. In particular, I think he was dealing with knee injuries. But uh, he kept his word. This is the end of his contract year. So he fulfilled his contract and he retires after today. I think they play the Cleveland Guardians. You know, I had to fight really hard not to say Indians. Uh, but anyway, in his career, he finishes with a 306 career batting average, 3,170 hits, 511 home runs, 1,880 RBI. He's played with two teams in his career. Uh, he played the first five years of his career with the Florida Marlins. As a matter of fact, he was a member of that 2003 as a rookie. A member of that 2003 Florida Marlins championship team that beat, uh, I think they beat the uh, Yankees in the World Series that year. But over the past 16 years, he's played with the Detroit Tigers. He's been amongst the best players in, players in Major League Baseball. As a matter of fact, back in 2012, Cabrera became the first player since Carl Yastrzemski back in 1967 to win the triple, crown, the triple crown. That year, he led the American League with a 330 batting average, led the American League with 44 home runs, and led the American League with 139 RBI, earning him the AL MVP award that year. The very next year, Cabrera batted 348, receiving another American League MVP award. For his career, he's a 12-time All-Star, World Series champion, as I mentioned, in 2003, a two-time AL MVP, a triple crown winner in the American League, seven times he's won the Silver Slugger Award, twice he's won the AL Hank Aaron Award, twice he was the batting champion, no, excuse me, four different times he was the batting champion, home run leader in the American League twice. And he's twice led the American League in RBI. In my opinion, um, I think that he should be 100% shoe-in. Like, when I say 100%, I mean he should be getting 100% of the vote. But, you know, these guys never get 100% of the vote for some reason. Um, and I don't get that. But he should at least get 98% of the vote his first time around when he's eligible. Um, he will stay on, from what I read, with the Detroit Tigers. He will uh, stay on in Detroit as a front office special assistant after this season comes to an end. And um, there's another stat that I saw about Miguel, Miguel Cabrera that I wanted to mention. Uh, I saw it somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, he finished his career with 67 wins above replacement, which is spectacular. But there's another stat that I saw that I wanted to share. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, that's what, there here it is. Last year, he joined Hank Aaron and Albert Pujols as the only three players in Major League Baseball history with 3,000 hits, 500 home runs, and 600 doubles. No doubt about it. First ballot Hall of Famer. One of the great players in Detroit Tigers history up there with the likes of, I shudder to say his name, but Ty Cobb, got to give us props, he was a great player, but other than that, he was a piece of shit. Ty Cobb, um, what, Alan Trammell, uh, Hank Greenberg, 
Uh, who else? Charlie Garinger, Jack Morris, uh, Denny McLean, uh, Hal Newhauser, Harry Hillman, Sam Crawford, Kurt Gibson, Cecil Fielder, and that's all coming to mind right now. I know some other guys, but uh, he, he's he's. Shit, I guess you can make an argument, man, that outside of Ty Cobb, he's right there at the top, you know? And as a human being, he dwarfs Ty Cobb. They're not even the same league as a human being. But anyway, uh, tell me what you guys think.